So Mita, we've just become the co-chairs of the UK Medical Students Committee. We were elected last month. I've been doing this job now for a few years, but you've just come on board as co-chair. Tell medical students a bit about yourself, about where you're from and sort of what your interests are. So my name is Mita. I'm a fifth year medical student at Glasgow um, and I was Scottish Medical Students Committee chair before I was co-chair with you um, and I was widening participation lead before that. I got involved with MSE because I've always been really passionate about the day-to-day -day problems that students face um, and I truly feel that change, although it might be slow, um, is achievable and I wanted to be part of that process. So I also thought it may be useful for us to talk a bit about what our priorities are for this year, but also about mental health. Mm -hmm. We heard uh, firsthand from a medical student at the ARM about some of the difficulties faced when medical students need to access mental health support, but also some of the stigma associated with being a health professional student, but also having a mental health condition. And that's really important, isn't it, that these people can access that type of support at university? Absolutely, and too often we see medical students who begin to struggle with their studies because of mental health problems um, and there should be every support in place at both medical schools and from the General Medical Council when they go on to apply for jobs to ensure that they can practice as doctors and have fulfilling careers in medicine. Indeed, and I think one of the issues is people believe that the GMC are not going to look at you to become a doctor if you actually have a mental health condition. I think it's important for us to demystify that and actually say the GMC want people to be able to disclose if they have a problem because that means they've got insight into that problem. That means that they can seek support and help and therefore be the type of doctor we all want them to be, the best type of doctor for patients. Absolutely, and I think as Medical Students Committee, we have a responsibility to make sure that all students know that they can be supported within the workplace and that um, nothing about them precludes them from being excellent doctors in the future. And I guess this sort of leads on to another area of work that the MSC is trying to achieve this year, or at least to make some progress on, which is around widening participation. So how do we get medicine to look like the population it serves? How do we make sure that those people from, uh, as quoted, non-traditional backgrounds become doctors, those who want to become doctors? We've heard statistics before that 80% of our medical students in the UK come from 20% of the schools in the UK. So there's a, a talent pool there that we're not really accessing. What type of work do you see the Medical Students Committee doing this year to make some progress? So I think um, widening participation is something that's really close to my heart. I think that the Med School Committee this year should look at making the widening participation policies standardised across the UK so it's not a um, postcode lottery for students that they're more likely to get into a university if they live in a certain area. I think all universities should be offering some form of widening participation programme with more years of foundation programmes before they come into med school and making sure that the journey doesn't just stop when they get into med school, they need to be supported well beyond them getting into the actual school itself um, and I think all of these things are things that we can lobby on and we should be talking to people about. Mm -hmm.